Hello and welcome back to this very beautiful series. So we have another question here. This question belongs to the topic of number system. And yes, we are to arrange the numbers and uh, sort of counting also how many pair of positive integers are there. So please read the question carefully. As always, I am just getting aside and this is your time. I will be counting five on the reverse scale. And there is your time where you are supposed to solve the question on your own. You can pause your video. You are allowed to take screenshot, of course. But try to solve the question on your own first. Fine. And after that, we shall solve it together. Your time starts now. It's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, I'm back. Hey. So I'm sure that you have tried the question and I'm sure many of you must have solved it also, right? So this is some of the good question. And now let's see how we, uh, how we need to go about this. It says, how many pairs A, B? So we need to calculate the pairs and remember that when you are talking about pairs A, B, when naming is mentioned, so A, comma B is different from B, comma A, right? So for example, if I suppose, for example, if 2, 3 uh, is one of the pair possible and 3, 2 is also possible, then they are to be considered as different pairs. Why? Because the naming is given, right? Naming is given. Okay? Anyhow, that was just for your information. That was just for your information, for example. So these will be considered as different pairs. If the naming is there, right? Okay, let's let me read. So, question is how many pairs A, B of positive integers are there such that A is less than B? Logi, baat khatam ho gai. Because it is clearly specifying A is less than B. That means in case 2 and 3 satisfy, so 3, 2 won't, right? So, basically, then in that case, there is only one order now, right? Only is one order now. Anyhow, so A is less than B and A into B, the product of A into B is 4 raised to the power 999. Nine, nine. Okay, so that is the question now. So basically we are having two positive integers whose product is given equal to 4 raised to power 999. So basically we need to distribute this number among the two numbers, right? In the two factors we can say uh, such that the product of the two factors is equal to the number of course. And also it is given that A is smaller than B. Fine. Okay. So that looks to me a very easy question. We just need to write this number on the right hand side as a product of two factors, right? Two factors, two unequal factors rather in, in that way, I, I should say, and two unequal factors. And uh, what else? Uh, also that uh, the one factor is smaller than the other, of course, when there are unequal factors. So one factor would be smaller than the other. And the smaller factor is A and the larger one is B. So no arrangement, right? Okay, so, so basically I need to write the factors of this number first, right? So for that I need to convert it into prime factorization. So it comes out to be this 4 is 2 square. So it becomes 2 raised to power 2 times. This is 2 square raised to power 999, which actually comes out to be 2 raised to power 1999, uh, 98, sorry. Right, this is one short of 1000, double karne pe, 2 short of 2000. That makes it 1998. Okay, so that is A uh, into B is. So, uh, so total how many factors would be there? Can you tell me for this number, number of factors, number of factors of 2 raised to power 1998 because 2 is a prime number. So that directly it is 1998 plus 1, 1998 plus 1, that is 1999. So these are the number of factors. So basically if I write this number as product of all the factors, uh, forgetting that part that uh, the order A is more than B, we will take out, uh, look after it afterwards. So A is just a factor of this number, isn't it? A is just a factor of this number, B is also just a factor of this number. So because the total number of factors are 1999, and what are those 1999 factors? So let me write the values. Uh, uh, I'm using white for this. So if A is 1, then of course B would be 2 power 1998. If A is 2, then it would be 2 power 1997. If A is 4, 3 is not possible. All the powers of 2 would be there, right? So if it is 4, then it would be yeah, 2 power 2. Let me write. It is 2 power 2. In that case, it would be 2 power 1996. So basically, 1, 1 power will be shifting here, right? 2 power 3. Then it, this would be 2 power 1995 and so on. So we will be just shifting 1, 1 powers here. So uh, let's keep note of this fact now. A raised to power A is less than B. So, 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 so 1998, when you divide the powers equally among the two numbers, right? That would be 2 power 999 into 2 power 999. But is this case valid? No. Because A is smaller than B, right? So this case is not to be considered. And the further case is also to be discarded, right? Further, all cases are to be discarded. Because in all further cases, along with this one, uh, A is not acting as smaller than B as required. 
So I just need to consider the cases before this. So what will be the largest case here? Yes, that will be 2 raised to power 9, 9, 8. And correspondingly, this uh, B would be 2 raised to power 1000. Isn't it? Isn't it that it's very simple? I haven't used any formula, no formula at all. Simple, basic, common sense, right? So number of factors we knew using the fact that number of factors and in how many ways I can write this number as product of two factors uh, with this condition that A is smaller than B. So we are having exactly these many cases. Now you can easily see how many cases are there. Can you tell me? Yes, don't mis do mistake and in the counting. Why? Because this is starting from 2 power 0 in one way, right? So 2 power 1, if I leave 1, then 2 power 1, 2, 3, up to 998. So these are 998 cases plus this first case where, where, it is, where it is actually 2 raised to power 0. So total it is 999 cases. So that many pairs. So how many pairs of positive integers AB are there with this condition such that their product is given. So these are the all 999 pairs we have already written, right? This pattern is already there. That's it. That was a simple question, isn't it? Thank you very much.